Welcome guys to Timeless Streets, this is Andre Dominguez. In my first appearance in front of the camera, you may have noticed a few reflections in my previous Roloflex video. I wanted to give a, a little series overview of the disposable camera project that I just finished. As some of you know, I spent the past about a month and a half shooting with these little disposable 35mm film cameras. This one's from Lomography. And I just wanted to, to give a little bit of what my thoughts were on the project. Um, as I mentioned in, in my blog post on the Kodak Fun Saver, disposable cameras were the first type of camera that I ever used. In first grade, I was given by my parents a little Kodak Fun Saver to shoot a school field trip at a local zoo. And I remember just having a blast, just being able to put the camera up to my eye, shoot whatever I thought was interesting. Probably none of them came out well, but the whole experience was what you know really drew me to photography and I like to think you know led the the path to one day down the line me you know getting into into this whole photographic mess so overall what did I think of the project I thought it was a lot of fun it was definitely challenging um, disposable cameras are at the same time extremely simple and easy but also require a lot of thought most of them have <coughs> pretty wide angle lenses uh, that feature quite a bit of, of distortion that you do have to, to you know, make sure that you know, your corners aren't going to be extremely distorted or you know, use that to your advantage. Also make sure that you have light. Um, all these cameras I believe are you know, hovering at around 1 100th of a second shutter speed. Um, you know, f11 apertures, so you really do need to shoot them on a day that's extremely sunny or use the flash if your camera has it. And most of these cameras do have a, a small flash that'll, you know, put out enough light where if you're at a party, for example, in low light, you'll get that, you know, classic sort of lamography looking, um, you know, disposable <coughs> camera with a, with a flash kind of look. Um, Given the fact that, you know, Time in the Streets is, is mostly about street photography, I was using these on my commutes to and from classes, uh, just putting one in my back pocket and if something caught my eye, putting it up to my eye and taking a shot. Uh, it was really an exercise in not thinking too much about it, um, as long as it was a day where I had enough light, and just having fun with it. And overall, uh, as a general impression of the entire project and the entire series, these cameras are surprisingly good. You do have to temper your expectations. Uh, your shots are not gonna come out um, extremely sharp. Uh, they will be you know, pretty grainy, uh, pretty soft focus on the edges. But as long as you go into that with that expectation, you can actually come out with some really, really interesting shots. One of the really interesting parts about shooting street with disposable cameras is the fact that they instantly defuse the situation. And I don't mean that, you know, I was ever in any situation where people were angry uh, that I was taking pictures on the street. I know that's a lot of, that's a fear that a lot of people tend to have with street photography. What I mean by defusing the situation is that if you put up a, you know, a colorful camera like this up to your eye, clearly a disposable camera, people know that <coughs> You know, you're not a, a quote unquote professional photographer. It's not the same as pointing a DSLR at somebody. They're not gonna take it very seriously. They're gonna think it's fun. They may even, you know, ask, you know, the, the classic question, do they still make film for that? How do you develop it? Um, and it leads to some really interesting conversations. And if you ever do take a candid picture where, you know, somebody doesn't notice that you took the picture at first, the shutters on these are all pretty silent. As soon as you, you know, start, cranking that, that film advance wheel, that iconic, you know, little plastic ratcheting sound. People know what it is. Um, they're not phased by it. So it actually turns out to be a really, really interesting feature. And it's actually why I love my, <coughs> my little Olympus XA is because it's the size of a disposable camera. It has that same uh, film advance wheel. So people don't take it too seriously. They let you take pictures. They let you kind of, you know, do what you want on the street. Uh, because it's a camera that they're not intimidated by. In terms of the actual cameras themselves, uh, I bought six cameras. <coughs> three black and white and three color. Uh, just to sort of, you know, 
explore the, the entire market of these things. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more than six disposable cameras on the market, but I tried to, you know, pick the most popular. So on the black and white front, I had the um, Ilford HP5 Plus, the Ilford XP2, uh, which is actually a C41 black and white. It's a black and white film, but you develop it in color chemistry, which is actually quite a bit of fun. And the Lomography uh, black and white version. On the color side, I used the Kodak Fun Saver. Here it is just with all the, the stickers taken off, so it looks pretty pretty plain. The Fujifilm Quick Snap and the color negative version of the Lomography camera. <coughs> now, <coughs> my favorite camera out of all of those were definitely the the Ilford options. I think that you know, they're, they're all plastic lenses, but there was something about the lens in those Ilford cameras that my shots came out sharper, um, the edges were less distorted than in any of the other options, and overall, I would love to be able to use that kind of camera again. The only problem is that, you know, there's a reason why, you know, I've shown you the, the Fuji, the Kodak, and the, the two Lomographies, <coughs> is that the Ilford ones are really, really hard to take apart. You essentially have to crack the camera open and, you know, rip out the film, uh, which is really, you know, I understand that they're disposable cameras and that's kind of the point, but it is really a shame that you can't easily reuse them. I know that some people do, some people have a way of putting them back together, but I'm gonna be honest, I tried and I failed miserably. On the polar opposite end of that spectrum is what Lomography has done. So these cameras, uh, they actually don't really market them as disposable cameras, rather um, as simple use cameras. I don't know if you can if you can see that. And the great thing about these cameras is that they function exactly like your typical disposable camera would, but they are fully reusable. Um, <coughs> over here on the on the side of the of the camera, if I can just show that. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little catch on the side that you just pop down and pull the back open, just like you would any, you know, typical 35 millimeter camera. And of course, when I go to show it to you guys, I struggle to, to get it open. You do have to take the sticker off of, the, off of the bottom in order to open those up. But once you do, it really does work just like, you know, any other camera. The back opens up, you can load in another roll of film. <coughs> and apart from just, you know, getting the, getting to use this, you know, another day on the street by just loading up another roll, I think one of the amazing opportunities that, you know, comes forward through, through this, you know, new feature by Lomography is that you can load this up and just hand it to somebody. Somebody who, you know, is interested in shooting film, but um, is going to be intimidated by something like a, an SLR. Um, you know, giving people uh, a lack of control, something as simple as this would be a fantastic way to introduce them to film photography. One thing that I've been wanting to do is to, you know, get together a, a group of friends that, you know, want to have that experience of, of shooting film for the first time, just hand out a bunch of these disposable cameras and then I'll develop and scan them at home and send them the, the images. I think that would be a fantastic way to, you know, get your friends interested in, in film photography. So in my parting thoughts, I think that disposable cameras are a fantastic way to, you know, in, inspire you on one end, uh, get you out shooting more. I know that a lot of times um, you know, you tend to leave your camera at home because it's big and heavy and you don't want to be carrying a bunch of lenses. Sticking something like this in the back of your pocket requires no work uh, and no effort at all. You know, stick it in your backpack, in your purse, just take it around with you and if you see something that, you know, catches your eye, just point and shoot. Uh, if you want to take a look at any of these, go ahead and, you know, get them on Amazon or B&H, Adorama. There's plenty of different options. Uh, make sure to check over the, the blog post that I wrote over on Timeless Streets and <coughs> stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll just have a, a quick little montage of some of my favorite shots. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for putting up with this first poorly uh, performed version of the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.